Hello guys, thanks for subscribing and thank you for supporting me on the Reddit. Uh, you know, I created this channel to show you unusual or exotic chemical reactions, uh, often uh, first on a camera on YouTube, because I am tired uh, of looking at the reactions like uh, potassium permanganate and glycerol or ammonium dichromate uh, decomposition or pharaoh's serpent uh, when the world of chemical reactions is so huge and you have a stack of chemicals, yeah, uh, there is something to choose, yes. Uh, and today I'm going to show you a series of cool experiments with substance. Uh, it is unlikely that you've ever heard about it, uh, uh, let alone work with it. Uh, it is the brain. So, here we go. Decaborane is very stable, very smelly and very poisonous substance. It has a figure of 4 in the enthalpy health rating. Uh, the same rating has a phosphine or hydrogen cyanide, for example. Decaborane has no significant applications, mostly used for research purposes. Decaborane is a very rare and very expensive reagent. The prices uh, can reach up $50 to $200 per gram. That's why I want to remind you again repeat these experiments. Ok, a little less conversation, a little more action. Decaborane is a highly flammable substance and the first uh, we just set it on fire. In the air, the brain burns quite calmly. Let's see what will happen with it in a jet of oxygen. A mixture of decaborane and liquid oxygen tried to be used as a rocket fuel in the middle of the last century. Let's mix these components. That was the only correct reaction equation in this video. Despite high stability of the decaborane, it can explode uh, from mechanical effects if it is mixed with some oxidizers and some other chemical compounds.
Let's look at the reaction with our favorite sodium peroxide. As you can see, the cabrain burns green, so we decided uh, to mix it with barium nitrate uh, uh, that, as you know, is very widely used in pyrotechnics to get a green flame. Thank you for watching this video until the end, and now I'll show you a very interesting reaction with fuming nitric acid. About fuming nitric acid you can see in my previous video. So, let's see. Hey, click on the pause and think, what happens next after we add nitric acid to the cabrain? And then, write in the comments if you guessed or not. Unexpected reaction. Thanks for watching, subscribe, because my subscribers are my inspiration for new videos. See you later, alligator.